Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate your SQL Server to Microsoft Azure Stack. So here we are on our existing SQL Server called SQL01. Uh, and we have our database here, the MS SQL database here one, which we want to migrate to a SQL server running on Azure Stack. For that, we're going to do a export or backup to a blob storage account running on Azure Stack. We create a new virtual machine with SQL installed on Azure Stack, and then we're going to restore from that storage account. So let's first have a look here at the configuration and let's have a look what we need to do first. So first we create a new query, we create new credentials, uh, which we then use to access uh, that specific storage account. So I copy the, this, this SQL statement in. And you can see here, I have an identity, I have a name and I have a secret. The secret you can basically find in our storage account. So if you go to access keys, you can see here the storage account name and you can see here the key and that's what we are basically using uh, for that. You can also see that I have created a container called backup, but the container is empty and does not have any blobs yet. So I'm going to copy the path um, to that blob storage because that's what we need to basically do the export then. So here we're back on our SQL server. So first execute to create the credentials. And now let's create a new query and basically start the backup job. So you can see here the target URL uh, is a blob storage. I'm going to execute that. And now go, let's go back to the blob storage account on Azure Stack. So you can see here now in the backup container, you can see here now our SQL backup um, we're going to use. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, deploy a new SQL server. And luckily in Azure Stack, you have with marketplace syndication, you have pre-built images uh, with SQL server. So let's go and deploy a SQL server 2017, um, deployed on Windows Server 2016 in that case. Uh, and as you would do with uh, the other VM, we give the VM a name, call it Azure Stack SQL 02, give it a username and a password. Also get join it to a resource group. Click OK. Configure the size of that specific virtual machine. OK. And then we basically configure some advanced settings. Again, we could like find the storage a little bit different or we join it to an existing virtual network and to an existing subnet in that virtual network. And for that, I'm also going to show, because I want to show you that, I'm going to also enable RTP access to it. Again, you might don't need that for your production deployment. So now we have some SQL specific settings. Since this is a pre-built image, you can see here, I can, for example, activate or enable SQL authentication with a username and password. I can do some advanced conf configuration, like automated patching or automated backup and key vault integration. And then I click OK and basically go and see a summary. And now I'm going to deploy that SQL server on Azure Stack. After that SQL server is deployed, I'm already connected here. So you can see here, this is our Azure Stack SQL 02. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm first going to add the credentials, which I need to access that storage account. I'm going to do that. And then I create a new query to basically um, restore um, the database from that backup we have created on that storage account. Um, so I'm going to add that and going to run that. And after a while, I'll see it was successful. And if I do a refresh here, you can see I now migrated that MS SQL DB01 to a virtual machine running on Azure Stack using the Azure Stack blob storage uh, in between to store the backup and, and the file from the restore. 
Now again, this is just one way. There are a couple of ways you can migrate um, SQL servers to different SQL servers. Uh, this one really helps you if you don't have, for example, direct network access for some reason, um, and you really want to use uh, the Azure Blob storage uh, to basically backup and restore um, that database.